What's up, y'all? Peace, peace. What's up? Let me give y'all a minute to, to get in the room. Let me let the word go out a little bit. It's been a while. It's been a week, so I know I've been slack a little bit, so I just wanted to touch in with y'all. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Um, I don't really send out friend request, uh, follow requests. It probably was a fake account, bro. Um, I don't do that. It wasn't me. So, anybody who don't know, I do not DM. So all those little pages that DM, it's it's not me. I'm working on getting those, getting those taken care of. So give me a little second to deal with that. I'm dealing with those. Um, I'm dealing with the fake accounts. I am dealing with the fake accounts. So, if you get DMs and it's asking you about, I'm I'm reading you or, you know, I'm choosing my followers, that's not me. Yeah, that's not me. Yeah, it's, it's fake page, bro. Because this is my only page and I don't do it. So, if you look at the ad, it's probably slightly different. Yeah, it's not me. They trying to scam you out of some money. But I'm working on that, though. I'm 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 working on that. So... So we just, you know, we're going to keep doing our thing. But I wanted to touch bases. You know, I'm not, I haven't been as active lately. So my means of not being as active, I've been working on the um, the courses. So for the people that's in the courses, everybody should have their login information. So you should be able to log in. And you should be able to see the course that you're that you uh, purchase, and you'll see the complete outline for the course, and what's up updated is what's available. So the numerology and the astrology course, if you pay for them, you should have your access. If you don't have your access, then visit the website and just click on the chat and just reach out to me. So I can talk to you directly. That's the best means of contact to go to the website. If anybody having trouble with the website, just refresh it. Just refresh the page or, you know, clear your cookies or your cache. It's secure and safe. Everything is, is legit with the website. It's just um, if you were going to the website previously, like it's no longer, it's just different. So you have to clear your cache so the destination of it can be clear. But. So you should you'll be good if you just refresh the page. Um, but this is my only page. I do not have any other pages. I do not DM people for to do a reading. If you're interested in a reading, you know, because I do consultations which 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 have elements of a reading to them, which we do do spiritual readings if it entails that. But just go to my website and just book on there. That's the only means of doing anything with me. If that's not how you spoke with me, if that's not how you dealing with a, you know, something with me, then it's not me. It's somebody probably trying to scam me. Um, because everything I do is on the website. The one on ones, you do it on the website and you book your time, and I, you know, we speak for your session. Uh the course when you click on the link because the website when you first go to the website, it has everything linked in different link buttons so you just select the course so if it's the shadow work and astrology you go to it and it'll give you information about it i don't think it has the outline up there but if you have any questions about it just hit the chat bubble and just you know ask whatever you need to ask but the majority of the information for it is there now um what we're working on we're working on a, a membership site so as far as like if you get a course you'll have access to the membership and it's things that, you know, we're going to put all our information pretty much there because it's just a better space. You know, it's just a better space. People are already trying to run rampant with your content on these, on these, um, you know, on these social media apps. So on Instagram, like I say, it's so many duplicate accounts, you know, and it's bothersome, you know, and they do it to a lot of people, especially in the like, you know, spiritual community. They do that a lot. but. Um, 
I'm trying to take, you know, course of action to get that resolved. But in the meantime, you know, that's what we're doing. We're building, putting our content, like, just in our space because it's too diluted here. And then on top of that, you know, the way the algorithm is, you get a lot of people that's not genuine to what the tribe is genuine for. And, you know, it's levels to everything. It's levels to everything. So as far as what people truly want to learn, if you really want to get, if you really want to dig into this stuff, if you really want to learn, then that's going to be the place for it, you know, and, you know, we'll occasionally do the Instagram thing, but it's just, it's not really the place, you know, I'm from North Carolina, um, WA royalty, I'm from North Carolina, yeah, I'm country, <laughs> I'm from the, the country, North Carolina too, not, not just Charlotte, you know, I, I'm not from out there, I'm from, I'm from the country. On the two five two out there, um, but you know, yeah, you know, and that's not to say I'm not gonna put my content here. You know, I'm still gonna put the content here, but you know, for people who really want to learn it, who really trying to digest it, and we where we can get away from the bots, and just you know, get away from all the scamming, all all of that, you know. So, um, you know, that's really more so what that's about. I've been to Wilson. Okay, so yeah, the Wilson area. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with Wilson. You in the two five two now? Really? What? Stop playing. Yeah, man, that's my that's home. That's home right there. Yeah, I'm from like Tarboro area. I went to North Edgecom. Graduated from North Edgecom. Love the work and wisdom you putting out in the world. I appreciate it. I appreciate all y'all comments and everything too. I get them. I can't always respond to them, but I do get all the messages. I do appreciate it. I want to thank y'all. Uh, we're coming up on 66,000. Uh, we're coming up on 66,000 followers. So I appreciate y'all for sharing my post. I appreciate y'all for all the comments and everything. I appreciate it. I really, truly do. Okay, Greenville. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I, 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 I um, okay, somebody got people's in Fayetteville. So yeah, North Carolina doing my stomping grounds. I've been out here in it. I've been out here in the Atlanta area for since 2009 so you know this is pretty much home now but yes my roots my upbringing is is uh North Carolina Eastern North Carolina especially you know but um but you know man it is what it is you know I don't even know I can't even see this person up here um but you know, it is it is what it is. But yes, I appreciate y'all for sharing the post. I really do, because you know, for a minute, it, it's always it's taking me a minute to really um, share like this, to share on this level, because I, I've always been hesitant, and that's because I I'm always trying to figure out where to draw my lines. You know, when some of us as empaths, as givers, we give and we give too much. You know, we give too much, and we um. You know, we got to have our boundaries. So I had to work on it. Uh, no, I'm married. I am very married. Married with four kids. Yeah, block them fake pages. It's not me. You know, they're trying to scam you. They want you to think that it's me, you know. And then, you know, yeah, I see them. They doing it to everybody, to a lot of people in the in the spiritual community. If, if it's any means of looking like somebody does spirituality, um, they just they be saying they do you know they do readings and they act like they them. Uh, it's kind of it's it's really a job for them though. They really working overtime because as soon as I get followers, they go follow the new followers. So like they really watching 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 the page. And I don't know who they are because from my page they have this page blocked. So you know they obviously have some other type of page that is following me and they getting all the content or whatever. So that's why I'm always trademarking on all the posts from here on out. It's like I do not DM for readings. So anybody receiving a DM from me saying they want to read you, it's not me. It's never me. So don't even think, hey, is this you? It's never me. It's never me, yo. It's never me. So, and you know, it's ways you can tell. You can go look. There be new pages. They have like ten posts, and I'm like, they have no lights on the posts, you know. And they be because they buy followers. They buy the followers to make it look similar to the page but it's not me i don't have no i don't have time to make a backup page i don't want to post twice more than one time on on here you know what i'm saying i don't want to be up here do be up here posting 
a whole lot. So no, nah, I'm not. I don't really want to do that. And you know, um, so yeah, you can always go to the to the website and send a message. If it's not me, it's my husband or somebody like directly, you know, that has direct contact with me that's gonna reply to you. So you can, you know, get a means of contact. But we usually reply pretty fast. So if you want to contact, just reach out on the website. You know, we usually reply pretty fast. But um you know, like I said, the numerology, the astrology course, they up, they ready, they available. It's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to start putting out. And I'm going to put it out a certain type of way. But but I'm just going to let y'all see. But anyway, I want to do some building, though. I want to talk on some metaphysical, on some occult. I haven't done that in a while up here. I've been so focused on my workload, you know, getting the energy reports done, having the consultations and working through the course that, you know, I haven't really just had a regular bill session. So I just, I just want to be, it's just a lot of energy just fluctuating in the air, you know, so just kind of feeling like I just want to clear that space, just kind of, you know, kind of build a little bit. Um, it's a lot of good shows out, man. I have to catch. I, I I've been getting everybody message about the Sandman. I just have not had the chance to sit down and watch it yet. But I, I've only seen the first episode. I've only and when I saw the first episode, I had to like immediately. I couldn't let it go to the next one because I admit I wanted to do a breakdown immediately following the first episode, and I was like. Netflix is really, they really bringing it with this one. So I want to do that one. I got to, I got to take a moment then when I can really dive into it and really do it and really dive into it. So thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. I don't know if y'all know about this mucilin tea. It don't have to be this brand, but look into mucilin tea. It's called mucilin. Look into mucilin tea. Especially if you had COVID. Look into this mucilin tea, okay? It's, it's great for the lungs. It's amazing for the lungs, okay? Perfect for the lungs. Um, bring me a... So, yeah. But I want to build. I just want to build, y'all. Um, so, I'm, I'm coming with Sam, man. So, it's no, no, no doubts about it. It's no doubts about it, y'all. I'm coming with Sam, man. I just haven't watched it yet because I haven't had the time to just because I know when I start watching it, I'm not going to want to start watching it because I saw the first episode and the first episode was I the first episode already hooked me. I'm already hooked based off the first episode. So give me a minute to dive into Sandman and um, I got y'all. I got y'all on the Sandman. I, I promise I got y'all on the Sandman. I'm excited to do that same man. Um, what's next? Are you doing? Okay. Hold on for a minute, y'all. Let me uh get my teeth. Let me get plugged in right quick. Yeah, if you a smoker. It's good to um to help to clear your lungs, you know. You always want to detox the body, you know. You put a lot of strain on the body, so you want to detox. Even if you do different parts, different sections, different organs, it's better, you know, to ultimately start do your full body detox, you know. And then from there, it's like maintenance, you know. You got to look at, like, a machine, the way your body works, the organism with a lot of working parts. <laughs> you funny. Y'all O is off screen. He he cracking jokes off screen, so that's why I, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> he cracking jokes off screen. Um Synchronization. I haven't heard of that one. But you know, I haven't had Netflix for a little minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get it back though. You know. I'm gonna go ahead and get it back though. Because I wanna um the lock and key there last season. I gotta check that one too. So 
That's a that's a dope little show too. And the Manifest season four is coming back. I was telling people so long about Manifest, but I'm glad they put it on Netflix. So, but it's only one last season coming. But what's good though? What y'all want to talk about? Yeah, what y'all want to talk about? OJ want me to talk about um Jay Z, y'all. And Breakdown. Too. He want me to talk about Jay Z. Breakdown to me now. Oh, uh, I, I mean, you look at it all the way, I ain't really looked at it all the way, but I just, I know Jay style. Right he, he, Jay do right this, now, he do this thing right that he do where he speak the occult language. So, you know, you either, you either get it or you don't, you know, it's one of those things. When did, when did we start? What's that? Now I'm not detoxing currently now. I don't want you to think I'm detoxing right now. I do need to detox though. But I'm just having this tea at the moment. But yeah, he want me to talk about Jay Z. I I like to use Jay Z as a good gauge for like you know in, a cult introduction, a cult information, like how far along the path. Because everybody don't take the same, you know, the same uh you know path. And, you know, even when I speak about these things, right, I don't really care about these people. I don't know them, you know. But I just like to, I look at the art, you feel me? And what they put in the art, and depending on, like, if you tapped in, you know, but, you know, I don't really do the... People who can see the future in some dreams. Some people had that ability. Some people had that ability to be able to foresee in their dreams. And sometimes they don't always understand because the dreams can be symbolic. Dreams can be, you know, they might not always be direct because the mind has a has a language of symbols, which is why you know the occult works the way it does because it's it's symbols. It's symbolic. You know, when you see a pyramid, when you see a triangle. When you see a tetrahedron, a, a hexagon, all those things have a speak a language. It's a frequency. So we're talking about vibrations and frequency, you know? I know. Yeah, I think I say you know all the time. That's like my trademark thing. Yep. It's like some country, my country vernacular uh, ad lib, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you, yeah, but yeah, the, uh, I was about to say you saying? know again. It made me think about it, but it's all about symbols. It's all about language, you know, like, because everything is upside down. Everything is upside down. Like he was saying in, in Sandman, the first episode, like what he was saying, where he thinks the real world, but not, not, not assessing the, the dream world as a real world, like your desires and everything come from the dream world. That's associated with your soul. It go back to that water element. You know? I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna kick you out. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you out. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you out. <laughs> See, dreams are in future had you not know. yeah. And sometimes, I mean, yeah, sometimes don't always be able to see, foresee the future. It's, it's like math, it's like patterns, it's like statistics. Like, how can they tell you or predict when certain things are gonna happen? It's math, you know, so it's patterns. So, on an energetic level, you continue to follow a certain path, it's going to lead you down a certain, to a certain result, unless you are able to change said path. So when we see things or when we get a point of, you know, when people read cards or people have dreams, that's a moment of interjection, you know, where because nothing is really written in stone, at least not necessarily. I'm about to kick you out. Oh, I'm not playing with you. Why are you keep joking over here? Why can't things be simple and be used when in the physical world? Because it's a illusionary world. You know, like, and that, that, it's loaded. It's loaded. It is simple. It is simple. We make it complicated. Society has complicated it for us because our perception is perceived that it's not simple. You know, like, we literally, like, your base root, you literally have to worry we a lot of us are just caught in basic survival, having to feed, clothe, nourish yourself, put shelter over your head, those basic things. 
and and this is such a competitive capitalistic society those things are hard for a lot of people we have more homeless people in america than we should considering how quote-unquote advanced we're supposed to be you know so it's like it's the way society is rigged it's it's a game they have us playing this game and we have to wake up to what the game is but honestly i I mean the game don't really end unless enough people realize it's a game so what ends up happening i think a lot of people just end up you know you just end up doing what you can you know you have to just be you have to just be a wave you know you be a ripple you you affect the people that you can oh orville me and o started watching orville have y'all seen orville and and like in the future so it's like it's supposed to be advanced four or five hundred years in the future and they no longer deal with money like nothing is about commerce like your value is based on what you can do because they realized at some point throughout evolution of humanity on earth that that was bad and it brought all types of problems for human for humanity it's a real interesting show you know, it's going to be the they need to be I, for a long time i didn't watch that show because i thought it was like a spoof comedy of star trek which i think maybe it kind of started off that way but it's a good show it's a lot of gems i'm gonna share something from it later it's a lot of gems in that show it is a lot of gems in it so i started watching that joint and this is pretty good it's pretty good matrix inception and time yes watch watch inception watch matrix look at ready player one like all those things simulation because they decided how we perceive our world some books that i'm reading now right now i'm divulging in heavy astrology um books and it's because i'm just heavy in this um in this course right now and when you get to a point and what i realize is when you the more you share knowledge the more you share because we read these books and what happens is we take them in and at least that's how you how you should you know a lot of a lot of inspiration starts with books and you take them in and a lot of the spiritual the wisdom comes back to you and um yep it carries to yeah well i mean you know it's kind of how it goes hold on for a minute y'all dream symbolism to us somewhat for the most part for the most part you know whatever whenever you study symbolism in general um like it's kind of interconnected so as you study you know ancient symbols the meaning behind those symbols you will see and then if you look in the dream symbolism a lot of it's the same thing Manifestation seem to come in twisted. Well, I mean, you have to do a lot of that has to do with the emotionals, emotionals, which are emotions. Your emotions have a lot to do with what you manifest. Like it's not just you know like a thinking thing; it's also a feeling thing. about a person you haven't seen in 10 years and seen the next day wow so you know some would say yo some would say you conjured that person up some would say your subconscious you conjured them committed spirituality oh i love committed spirituality i love committed spirituality if there was like a system i'm probably most most heavily connected with it would be committed spirituality i love committed spirituality
in what way uh have you studied committed spirituality? Yeah, man, they don't want us to tap into our power. You know, that's really what it's really what the mockery of the symbolism is about. See, a lot of people will say it's, it's Satanism, but it's not. It's just mockery. It's mockery of your own symbols. So they take your symbols and make a mockery of it. And the mass majority of the people looking at it, distancing it and doing the same things, not realizing that it's your very own essence, the very own things which make up, you know, your divinity from your ancestors, but they've taught us in a way that we turn our back on. What's some techniques you favor in reading numbers? Um, when we read numbers, we break it down like the Pythagorean way, but we look at the whole number though. We look at the whole number too. So, and it's, be and because we've studied like committed spirituality and you know, not number systems and stuff like that. It's it's really like our own type of system. Now, when I do names, when I look into names and do energy reports, I look at the Hebrew system, the twenty-two, the Hebrew system based on the name. So, um, and then even in sense, some of it is a term in a, in a sense of supreme mathematics. I talk about supreme mathematics in the numerology course too, because that's a system of numerology. And it's a whole system of principles and ways to live your life off of. So, you know, um, that's the way that I do that. I don't know. It's weird. You know, I, you're right. People do keep joining and everything, but, you know, I don't really pay attention to the numbers. My thoughts on the Orisha, the Orisha is it's the same. It's like a spiritual system that you can transform and transmute and tap into your own inner power. And in a sense, because it, it has a connection to the chakras, it has a connection to numerology. All these things are connected. And so, I and like a lot of times I have, that's why I don't really argue with people about different different systems. Because when you look at the systems, though, a lot of them are alike. You know, a lot of them are like it, when you get to it to an energy standpoint. But I think you have to look at it from an energy standpoint because if you stuck on the semantics, if you stuck on the words, right, or if you stuck on like the imagery, then you can get tricked up in it. You know, like that's the that's the matrix. I feel like um, angel numbers and numerology. Well, angel numbers is just it's really the same thing. It's just a means of interpret interpreting numbers. Because numbers are vibration and frequency. So if you keep seeing the same numbers over and over and over, then that's referencing to maybe something's trying to get your attention. Maybe that's a spiritual message, something trying to spiritually communicate to you. So then you just look at the vibration of the number. So if I keep seeing ones, what does one, what does one mean? What does one represent? You know, so it's a means of a communication. So depending on if you believe in your ancestors, even if you believe in your spirit guides, or even if you believe in guardian angels, however people interpret it amongst the cultures, that's a means of spiritual communication. So that spirit communicating with you like, hey, because we say all the time in our mind, we want to know a sign. We asking questions, we asking questions, asking questions. When well, you're getting answers, it just may not be coming to you how you want the answer to come to you. No, nobody's not going to say, yes, my child, you should move to, you know, it's not going to work like that. You know, so it's the main, that's how spirit communicates. So that's why you have to learn symbology because everything comes to you in symbols. You know, that's why the indigenous cultures was all, would talk about totems. You see, you asking a question, you're talking about something, and then you look over and you see a blue jay. That's a message. But we're so turned down, we don't even recognize, you know what I'm saying? Because nature is God. Nature mimics God. So if you study nature, you can understand God because you'll understand the laws of nature. Therefore, you'll understand the laws of reality, the laws of the universe. So there's always messages because think about it. We're always asking questions, but are we attentive enough to be able to get the answer? That's why they say that you meditate, because if you can meditate, you can slow yourself down enough to be able to perceive everything around you. 
you can pick up on everything that is there and you're not overlooking you feel what i'm saying because we could be in such a rush such a rush and trying to do such action that we overlook the simple thing right in our face see that's what the need to slow down and to stop is for that's what your feminine energy is for shit pause y'all can still hear me thumbs up if y'all can hear me give me a thumbs up if you can hear me still